Hey, what's going on, everybody? As always, it is Nick here, back with your daily crypto content. And today, we are going to be analyzing uh, some news regarding Hedera Hashgraph. But before we jump into it, I just want to do a quick update on the market. Uh, we are seeing a little bit of some volatile pricing happening in the market. We do see that the total crypto market cap is about 4.63% in the negative. Uh, we do see Bitcoin doing its thing at about 32K. We actually just lost 32K for a second there. Uh, I believe that we come lower. I, I think that we retest 30K. I've been calling it for pretty much days now, actually, like since last week. Um, I mentioned it to you guys multiple times where we could see H bar going. I, I even have a buy order at 15 cents. I know that it was a degenerative buy, but it is looking more and more possible day by day. But nonetheless, that is, of course, my uh, possibility ideal that I do think is going to be happening very soon in the market. It doesn't need to happen, but hey, that is where I personally see it going. Uh, now, we do see Bitcoin's down about 3.31%. Uh, most assets are following it as well. Ethereum is actually falling quite hard compared to most assets, down 20% on a seven-day um, moving average. Now, uh, even if we come down... Uh, to H bar, H bar did hold up fairly strong, opposed to most alts today, down only about 3.7 percent. It is still down into about 16 cents. Uh, we do see that the seven day is about 9.56 percent overall. Now, I'm not too concerned with these prices, uh, I'm not too concerned with the movement of the market either. I mentioned multiple times that uh, th this is what we would most likely be seeing, and I think that it only gets more volatile from here. I, I personally think that we will be seeing uh, a lot more price action moving uh, forward where it is kind of, you know, you know, panicking and fearful uh, because it just it, it makes sense. Right. Uh, especially with, you know, Grayscale unlocking their uh, G Bitcoin, if you will. So uh, I could definitely see some more volatile pricing happening where we do see intense fear growing throughout the market. So 30K, I think, is a strong pinpoint to retest maybe 28.8k who knows uh we'll have to analyze the market as the weekend comes because i do think that this weekend is going to be a bit bloodier than most of the ones that we've seen recently but nonetheless let's jump into the h bar content so um i've been seeing a lot of tweets coming out uh now this is going back to may right this is may 13th um and the reason why i bring this up is i've seen a lot of people talking about uh, HBAR being a, a top 10, uh, top 5, whatever the case may be. Um, and I do strongly believe that it is, right? Uh, even if we come over here to my Twitter, um, I do know that I just recently retweeted it somewhere. Um, I believe that it was maybe a little bit earlier today. Uh, okay, so I don't... All right, yeah, so it's right here. Uh, so this is what... It, basically, the question was, what crypto is not currently in the top 10... Uh, but we'll be in the top five within two years. And I said H bar zero DAO, right? Now, the funny thing about that is that even if we come over here and we see H bars down at this number 56 spot, it's actually comical to see it there. And, and I've been saying this for quite some time with, with how much, you know, project initiative that Hedera Hashgraph has behind it with how many, you know, updates that it has as well. It's so funny to see it at these prices like yeah the, the volume is only 220 million dollars in the last 24 hours we do see that the market cap sitting at about 1.5 billion dollars steady this is just so funny to me uh personally I, I know a lot of people are probably thinking like i i can't believe that the price is still here as well those people are the ones that will make it at the end of the day because listen buying hedera hashgraph under any anywhere under a dollar is just insanely cheap uh, i think that any buy at around 10 cents to around 20 cents is perfect uh, anything below 10 cents is like golden I, I i don't know if we'll ever see under 10 cents again this bull run um i don't think that we'll ever see it again uh after this bull run though uh as well so it's hard to say um but i do I believe that it is a top five or and also even a top 10 too uh, i mean it's not even a top 25 right now so it, it, it's just funny to me that it's still this undervalued now we do have some more updates uh regarding hbar uh they actually just uh introduced yamgo uh or yamgo i believe 
Uh, now this is a partnership with AdStacks, I believe, I'm pretty sure. Now, with that being said, uh, basically this is a rewards platform powered by Hedera, obviously, to basically allow you to earn HBAR for ads, playing games, shopping, and more. Uh, it's similar to like Bing Rewards or, you know, like I, I know Microsoft has like Microsoft Rewards and stuff like that for, you know, Internet Explorer. Um, but we do see even, you know, Barbarian's always on it. He's saying, basically saying, uh, noise. Uh, this app is an ideal micropayments use case for HBAR. Shameless referral link below. Um, and yeah, I mean, it, it is very cool to see a lot more uh, innovation coming to this project uh, to HBAR. Now, I already talked about Yamgo, um, or not Yamgo. I talked about um, a similar project. It was basically where you could pretty much uh, get jobs and stuff and be paid in HBAR. I forgot what it was called. I just did a video on that about like two weeks ago, I believe. Um, that is a big project too. Uh, it's very cool to see a lot more um, exciting things coming to the Hedera mainnet that you could basically earn HBAR uh, by utilizing. So I, th I thought this was cool. Um, it allows you know more incentives overall if you guys are an HBAR holder. Uh, so I thought that this was cool to uh, include. Now I don't have a referral link or anything like that. I'm not going to plug one either. Uh, if you guys want to you know go click somebody else's, that's totally fine. Uh, no no problem with that. I'm not going to plug one. But uh, I thought this was very interesting to really see. Now I do have another tweet to really kind of regard in terms of HBAR. Uh, now this is eventually HBAR price will uh, completely uh, be decoupled from Bitcoin. Uh, as more people come to understand that Hedera Hashgraph will be widely useful across a variety of endeavors, uh, HBAR will find its own trajectory. The sooner the better. Hello future altcoin. Yes, I do think that at some point in time, um, we will basically decouple from Bitcoin. Most altcoins will. Uh, now, this kind of goes back to what I was saying um, a couple of days ago now. Uh, I think I actually said it yesterday, but... It was basically the idea that Bitcoin is under mass scrutiny, especially with Tether, right? Now, a lot of people say that Tether already went to court with the SEC. They already settled, whatever. It was more so a New York case, so it wasn't really anything crazy with that. What I'm talking about is the massively inflated prices for Bitcoin that occurred this year at 65K, utilizing volume from Tether to really pump the price. Now, I already said that Bitcoin will no longer be in the number one spot very soon. It's going to happen. A lot of people are upset about it because, of course, they believe in Bitcoin to their death. Uh, and they don't think that anything will decouple Bitcoin or Bitcoin is always going to be the supreme holder over the market at number one. But when we go back to even 2017, 2018, and I could actually kind of show you this on TradingView. Uh, let's kind of open this. Let's go to, for an example, XRP uh, dominance. Now, I know a lot of people that hold HBAR are not an uh, XRP supporter or anything like that. That's totally fine. Now, the interesting thing about um, XRP dominance is that when we look at the past experiences with this, it's actually very interesting to see that at some point in time, we were at about 30 uh, it was like around, yeah, like almost 32% uh, for dominance. And that happened in 2017, during the 2017 and 2018 bull run. Now, when we talk about dominance for an altcoin, right, compared to Bitcoin's, you know, 45%. And, you know, originally, you know, when we go into a bear market, uh, Bitcoin's dominance is around 70%. So uh, when we really look at this and we look at most altcoins, uh, for something like XRP to have dominance of about 30 uh, plus percent, that is huge. And, and I've, I've talked about this multiple times where we kind of get that idea of Bitcoin dominance kind of, you know, depleting, if you will. Uh, Bitcoin falling from the number one spot and an altcoin that drives utility. So, you know, for example, HBAR is a huge utility asset, XRP, uh, AOBT, any kind of asset that is being utilized on a mass scale to really invoke that price point average for it. Uh, that's what we will want for the number one seed. Now, of course, when we look at Ethereum, Ethereum could be a good choice for the number one spot, but I do think that Ethereum has its own issues with ICOs and stuff like that. So the top three coins, right? And when we look over here, uh, the top three coins, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Tether 
are all kind of weird in ways. And when I say weird is when we talk about XRP in the SEC case, uh, we do know that the SEC case was kind of all about the ICO, if you will. Uh, they were saying that, you know, they held an ICO listing, but they really didn't. Uh, now, what's funny about this is that Bitcoin, Ethereum, Tether, and even Cardano all held an ICO at some point in time. Not Bitcoin so far, but Tether and Bitcoin didn't hold an ICO, but Ethereum and Cardano did. Uh, Bitcoin and Tether on their own is kind of a weird speculation um, where we see problems occur where Tether was kind of massively inflating uh, the supply. Like they're actually saying that they don't even actually hold $62 billion worth of currency to kind of back this circulating supply. Uh, but the thing about those assets um, is that those are in the top five and they all kind of have weird speculations behind them where they could possibly uh, be in targets of the SEC. Now, uh, could you just imagine a day where the number one spot is held by something like XRP, HBAR, or something like that that has mass utility that's driving the price and that has a dominance factor of about 30 plus percent? and is pretty much carrying the entire market on its back, uh, similar to what Bitcoin does right now. You know, that's why when Bitcoin moves down in price, everything else moves down in price. That's why a lot of people are upset about it. Now, I'm not saying that, you know, Bitcoin could go to zero. I hate Bitcoin. Bitcoin's garbage, whatever. Listen, I just don't think that Bitcoin has the potential to hold the number one spot forever. It doesn't have true utility and there's nothing really driving the price be, be, besides, you know, store value speculation. Um, I personally think that Bitcoin has done its job. Uh, it's opened the doors for a lot of these major uh, assets like XRP and HBAR and stuff like that. Um, and I do think that it's time to kind of retire it, get, you know, pretty much stored away. Uh, it could go to, you know, whatever, you know, I, I don't even care if it sits at number two for a while, uh, just as long as it's not number one and we have another asset that's kind of reigning supreme, we will see that at some point in time, we will. And you guys can mark my words for it. You guys could save this video to watch later. You guys could pretty much prove me wrong if you want. Um, but I do think that it's going to happen within the next five years at least. Uh, but let me know what you guys think about that down in the comments below. Um, as always, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, definitely leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications on if you guys don't want more free content. You guys could always follow me on Twitter at NCashOfficial. You guys could also join the free Discord down in the description below. As always, I hope that you all have a beautiful day or a beautiful night wherever you guys are in this beautiful world. This has been Nick. Peace out.